Hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my, in this video I will be talking about how we can solve this question which is in python and the question is check if list is in sorted order or not okay so you can see that we have uh, these three test cases you can see we have input list that is one two three four five and then you can see that this is in a so already in a sorted order right if we talk about the second uh, second input then you can see this is also in a sorted order and if we check this the third test case then you can see the list is not in the sorted order right you can see that three comes uh, comes before two right so which is which is means which which means that it is not a uh, correct which is not in sorted order so we have to write a program to check so first we will go via a traditional way or we can say a noob way let's see how we can do so i'll just create one function let's say check underscore sorted and here i will pass input underscore list cool and here what i'll do i'll just write for i in a range see what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna check this this element with the uh, with the increment I mean uh, I mean if it is if this is a zero index then I will I will have to check uh, I will have to check the coming index whether uh, the values are uh, uh, whether whether the values are less than or equal to or not okay so what what I mean to say I'll first I'll you know I take this list so I'll just write this and take len of this minus one cool here what I'll do I'll check if input of i is less than equal to input of i plus 1 cool so see I'm checking whether this is less than less than with this or not so if it is then I'm doing nothing I'm just passing it and else what I'm doing I'm assigning this k is equal to 1 you know I'm just uh, up updating the value of k to 1 and here I'm initializing value of k with 0 cool and once it is done once it happens once the condition doesn't match then I'll just break this loop because I do not need to you know iterate till the end so in this case if you can see 1 3 2 4 5 right so here if you can see 1 is less than equal to 3 which is correct but 3 is less than is, is equal to 2 which is not correct so it comes here and it will break the loop we, we will come out from the loop right and once it is done then what I'll do I'll just quickly check if k is equal to is equal to 0 so it means it will return true cool and uh, else it will return so I do not need to if it is true if it true okay I think I do not need to write like this I just simply write return k is equal to is equal to uh, 0 cool so if it is zero it is once cool and what I'll do I'll just quickly call this function and having this list first test case and I'll pass it over here and quickly I'll just print it because I am returning the value from the list uh, from the function you you can see that it returns true so if you take this example then it should also return true only so we'll see right and if we if we take this example it should return false because this is not in the sorted order cool now this is the new way if you're fresher or if you are if you do not have experience then you should you you can write this way or maybe in a different way you can also write it down let's see how we can uh, write it down in a in a pro way so I quickly copy this function again and here what I'll do I will use a keyword called all it's not a keyword actually it's a function okay so what I mean to say I'll just quickly write return and what I am doing simply for I in I'll just copy the same thing over here you know I will iterate it and I am also checking this condition the condition will be same okay but here what I am doing I am using all all function okay so what does it mean all will return all will return true and false so if all the all the iteration is matching you know then it returns 
uh, true if something falls in between then it will return false only cool now quickly do the same thing let's run this then you can see we have false false right we have false false so if i just you know write this uh, input also if i pass this input also in uh, one minute let me do like this and here let me do like this so if i just run this then you can see both will return to cool so i hope that you have understood this concept of all see you can also write like this maybe you know i have uh, i have used multiple lines and you can also reduce it to single line or two lines you can do that way also but this is a pro way so if you if like if someone ask this question in the interview i would suggest that you should use this way right so chalo thank you bye bye we will talk in the next video and i will be covering some in more interview questions also in this series till then bye bye tata